Hey Virgo, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I am here for your July 2020 monthly reading. Holy cannolis, lots going on, right? We've got the lunar eclipse at the beginning of the month and we've got a new moon in Leo and we've got all sorts of things going on in your trine in Capricorn with Jupiter and Pluto being in retrograde and being conjunct Saturn coming back in there a lot happening so let's get into the cards and see what's happening for you guys now this month because this is Cancerian month so I'm gonna bring it back to where we are now um, I really felt that this month was really important for us to get in touch with our heart get it because that's where our true home is get in touch with our inner goddess our inner love our divine feminine so we're going to be using the love your inner goddess um, Oracle by Alana Fairchild. I just got, I actually, I just realized I had these. <laughs> I didn't remember and I was cleaning up some stuff and then I, um, yeah. And then it's like, oh, here they are. I forgot I purchased them. So I was like, well, it was meant to be for me not to even know that they were around. So we're going to pull three of these cards here. Ooh. And let's talk about them, okay? We'll acknowledge her. Okay. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I have wild and free. All good things are wild and free. And then I have psyche. And then I have rock star awesome and this one says i am a million different things at a million different times i am me i am me with no apologies wow what is this one here this is a surrender okay and there's butterflies all right i see where we're going with this right here and i've also got Amalthea, and she looks like, Amalthea looks like she's a mother or an older sister. She's an older woman that is really assisting, you know, the younger ones. Very heart-centered. So we're going to acknowledge her as well. All good things are wild and free, psyche and rock star. If I have to put these together... <coughs> okay... If I have to put these together, this is the story that I'm hearing immediately, right off the bat. Wild and free Virgo, let yourself go. Can you let yourself be free a little bit this month in July? Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to retake your inner power. Allow yourself to restructure how you are in uh, and working with the collective power and the collective conscious, the collective construct. You need to loosen your own grip. You need to be, you need to allow yourself a little more latitude and not be so completely structured within because your structures are all changing anyway. So there's no point in fighting it, right? The structures are changing. There's no point in fighting it. So the more you, you go against the grain and the more you go against the fight and the more you go against, you know, the powers that be, fight the power right the more you do that um the harder things are going to get because right now what's being what you're being called upon to do with this psyche card if you notice there's butterflies coming from her crown right and 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 on her shoulder it says surrender with the heart so it's you surrendering your surrendering control in the third dimension to your higher self so you can allow your higher self and your psyche to transform itself okay to transform itself and become this beautiful butterfly because right now you're stuck in this cocoon you're stuck within this cocoon and honestly you're you're really about ready to spread your wings you're really about ready to take flight. You really are. So what's the problem? I tell you what the problem is. The problem is, is that you're not, you're very kind of unsure, 
right? You're like, okay, oh, I could probably bust out of this cocoon, but what is that really going to mean for me? Like, am I really going to be able to do it? Right? So you have to allow yourself, allow your mind to be set free. Allow your higher consciousness to be set free and allow your higher consciousness to come in and say, okay, listen, this is what we can be, the rock star. I'm going to read this to you again. I'm going to read this to you again. I am a million different things <coughs> at a million different times. <coughs> Excuse me. I am me. I am me with no apologies. You have the ability and you are at any given moment with all of the DNA that's running through your, that's within each of your cells and with this eternal spirit that you truly are. You are a million different things at a, at a million different times, but at your very core and your very essence, you are yourself and you have to loose, loosen up right here, right? Loosen up this month and free yourself to be wild and free to be you. Free yourself up to actually go for and grab a hold of all of those dreams, desires, plans, all these things that you have thus far said, these are, this is what I want to do. This is who I am truly, but I've been confined into this little box. I've been confined. So are you going to allow yourself to break out of that confinement? Are you going to allow yourself to truly, for some of you, this is really going to be allowing yourself to truly be the very spiritual, light worker, powerful, divine being that you are. And you know that you are, but there's still some third dimensional stuff holding you back. The transformation into the butterfly that takes flight and is free and roams and is glides in the air and isn't so on uh, right um and 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 confined not the caterpillar that must crawl on the ground but the the butterfly that can take flight um some of you just need to allow yourself to be that right um without hesitation and without apologies you are you and you actually have the right to be your best you. You have the right to be the you that you already know that you are. It's just a question of walking in it and not running from it. So again, for some of you, there's a lot of spiritual, esoteric, metaphysical functionalities, abilities that are popping up and that they're becoming even more real. There's a lot of spiritual truths that are becoming more real and you're and, and spirit is ready for you to be the rock star. Spirit is ready for you to be out there in whatever capacity out there means. But rock stars are just creative. Let me look and see what she's about. Rock stars are just creative, right? They allow their creativity to flow. Sorry, guys. Let me see here. Your soul is learning about love. Yeah. Whether you fully realize it or not, you are breaking free from a pattern of relationship that has not been respectful enough of you and your heart. This includes the relationships you have had with yourself, with others, be they friends, romantic connections, colleagues, or strangers, and even the universe. As you allow yourself to feel worthy and release feelings of hate, shame, guilt, or judgment towards yourself, a new spirit of gentleness, love, and devotion will fill your heart and transform the quality of your connections with the others and the universe. A beautiful new world of love is opening up for you. That change in your psyche. Okay, let's get some tarot. I, I, I really feel like we have the message, but let's just get some tarot. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Huh? 
clarifier for wild and free, please. Can I get a clarifier for wild and free? <coughs> Yeah, that's definitely you right there. Yeah, amazing. So listen, for a while and free, the clarifier is the world. You have to let this chapter close. There's some chapters in your life that have been attempting to close, and they need to close now. Three of Cups, so that you can be in um, control of your situation and celebratory. Um, if you're in a third party situation of any kind where anyone is interfering in whatever relationship it is, be it romantic, friendship, work, whatever, if there's interference and it's time for them to go. It's time for you to exit stage left and stop allowing people that latitude to basically confine you into this situation. You have to be the king of wands and follow your heart, follow your path, follow your passions, be steadfast and true and go for what you go for it. This is you as the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is you. This is you birthing. This is you This is you uh, bearing good tidings, being full of love, love of self, love of others, right? Bearing good fruit on your life purpose with the Four of Wands. So this could be a new relationship that's coming in. But I'm going to tell you, I really feel like this is a new relationship with yourself. This is a new relationship with yourself and then a new relationship with the universe. All your hard work, Eight of Pentacles, is paying off. Not only that, there's going to be a number of you that are going to enter into a business, a work, however you want to do this, a career, however you want to say it. But you're going to enter into doing something that's very purposeful with this Eight of Pentacles and very meaningful for you and very fulfilling for you. And you're going to love every minute. Do you understand? Love every minute of this okay this is going to be the fulfillment because as your psyche changes as you realize who you are as you realize what you have to offer as you realize all of these things and you're walking into your life purpose as your own individual power grows and as it comes into contact and in concert and an in integration with the collective this is what happens the result is life purpose and work that you absolutely love to do people commissioning you to do things people right like this is your purpose providing for you and as you're the as you become more of the rock star and just become you you are a million different things and it's okay to a million different people at a million different places and it's okay because you're still you authentic to you you're going to find new ways of finding complete fulfillment complete abundance right you're going to have friends that are going to come along and help you people that are that really have your best um best uh intentions right at heart that five of cups i'm gonna i'm i'm looking at that as you coming out of being overwhelmed it might be overwhelming but i feel like it's one of those like i finally get to be free kind of things and here we are all right here's another messenger so we have messengers of abundance we have messengers of new thought we have people that are really in your corner we have people that are bringing you new ideas we have people that are bringing you new ways to talk we are you are becoming new you are changing you are transforming into this butterfly and your whole entire psyche changes and finally you're like i can be free to be me all of me not just part of me I can be free to be me, all of me. That's a very different side. That's a very different point of view and position than I think what you've been used to up until this point, Virgo. Because you've been great for everybody else, and now it's time for you to be great for you and for you to show up in your own life. Right? It's time for you to show up for yourself. Because otherwise, who else is going to show up for you? but you it's time for you to be you with no apologies with no worries about how people are going to receive it and how they're going to like it and if they're not going to like it just be you all good things are wild and free All good things are wild and free. So Virgo, that is your reading for this month. Sun, moon, and rising. 
I want to hear about these wild and free escapades. Leave me, uh, leave me a, me a comment down below and tell me how. What are you gonna do to set yourself free? What are you gonna do that you not thought? Oh my goodness, I can't do it in a thousand and one years. But now you're like, baby, I know I can do it. I'm gonna be free. Okay. Now, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my website, heartofinspiration.net. Um, I'm catching up on some past work that I had, some natal charts, but I am going to be over this weekend, this, the, the 4th of July weekend, depending upon when you're watching this, I'll be posting a, a birthday special. Haven't figured that out yet, but there's going to be a birthday special available to everybody to celebrate my birthday, which is here in July. So check out heartofinspiration.net. There's a lot of great opportunities there to work with me closer on a one-on-one -on -one basis and just a lot of great resources there as well, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, and share. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.